Hi folks, welcome back to G4G here on YouTube. This video we're taking a look at Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. Discussing how the game is going along so far as it hopefully nears its American release. So my dailies for today are once more into the breach, cornering the market and friends are forever. Cornering the market is really easy, get three cells. Once more into the breach is to complete a full mission. And friends are forever is to bring three of your friendly neighborhood allies. So every day you want to come in, take a look at your lockbox. You're going, you want to see who is requesting to be friends with you. And once you scroll past those, you will get the silvers for all the times that your heroes were used by other people. Now, what's cool about this game is that when you call in for help from other commanders, if they are not your friend, it will send out, if you wish, a request. And then you can be friends. When you are friends with somebody, if you use their heroes in combat, they can bring bonuses like increased attack and increased defense and increased evasion you can also go ahead and share your code kind of like the nintendo universe and give people your code and then they just enter the code they type in what you give them and you become friends that way so there's my code if you want to go ahead and add me the game has shown up apparently in canadian google play store so this could be a good sign that potentially we are getting closer to an American release. What's kind of funny is if you go over to Marvel Avengers Alliance 2 on Facebook, anytime they post anything about this game, 52 million people just yell at Play Dom to release the fucking game already. I'm like, guys, be patient. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's not fair of me to say be patient because I have been playing it. Uh, as you can see here, I do have access to it and have been playing it for some time. But, like, seriously, people just need to calm down. Now, the big question is what is going to happen with the PvP heroes uh, once the game goes live? Because the game is live. This isn't a beta. It's sort of like a beta, but not really. Um, once the game goes live, people will have lost on the ability to PvP for Angela, which was Season 1, and PvP for Heimdall, which is what is currently going on now, Season 2. My guess is that we're probably not going to see the American release for this until after... Season 2. Since I'm up at 295, I'm going to drop 25 to hopefully get a new hero, which I know I won't get. It's going to be an ability. I guarantee it. What did I fucking tell you? I just... Uh, it's been a while since I've gotten a new hero. Um, it's funny. People. Some people complain about purple points. They don't have enough. Some people complain about silver. They don't have enough. I've been okay with these. The ones that I didn't have for a long time was the gear to level up the stupid heroes at 10. And I thought I did the tr Luke Cage was in on my Rhino kill. Did he get it? Did he get credit? Yes. Okay, good. He got credit. So it's this thing over here. Th that award was so hard for me to get. I would do the scouting missions all the time. And it's just like fight... This is like pulling teeth to get these. Now these I can get a lot of. These, not so much. So, currently we have a new PvP season. There is nine days left in it. Uh, Heimdall is the one that you can get. And that's pretty much classic Marvel Avengers Alliance 1 Heimdall here. Here's who I've been using in PvP. And you'll see why. Thor is, he's just pretty good. My Thor is a three-star one. Hawkeye is capable of doing a lot of damage. And let me tell you, Wasp, her ability isn't called Queen Bee for nothing. She's like crazy good right now. Maybe at the higher levels, uh, you know, nearing the level cap, there might be other heroes 
that take the cake, but for me, from what I'm hearing from a lot of people down at the lower levels, uh, she's just great. She is what we would call in World of Warcraft an evasion tanker. Like in some MMOs, you have people who tank simply due to raw armor, like plate and just they're heavily armored and everything like that. But then there are some tanks who tank via evasion, just being tough to hit. Well, that's kind of where Wasp comes in. She is an incredible douche of a tank. When she goes into that small form and she's tanking, I mean, she barely takes any damage whatsoever. Wow, Hawkeye just... That was amazing damage by Hawkeye. Uh, so much so that I think I'm going to open up on her rather than go for the class bonus on Hawkeye. And I will kill She-Hulk and we will splash some lightning onto the rest of the team. So now my next target is going to be Hawkeye. He's capable of doing some really good damage. Drax takes him a while. And, I mean, as you can see, that last shot that Wasp took did zero damage. I'm gonna stun him, push him back in the turn order a bit. Uh, Wasp is just, she's just crazy good. Once she goes tiny, and she's protecting like this, that's really good. Trax's moves in this game are kind of strange. I mean, shout angrily. It almost sounds like a, a bad translation, really. And I mean, you can catch Wasp out. She can't perfectly tank forever. She's going to have to come out of that form a little bit eventually. Um, and I, I've, a lot of people are saying they bring infiltrators to counter Wasp. But um, the game is fun. I definitely will be playing it when it gets its legit release. If I have to go all the way back to square one, would I continue playing it? Yeah, I would say so, but it might be tougher. I, I do touch this daily. I do like to do my uh, my tasks daily, my three tasks. Every now and then there is a task that I can't do, but not too much. As for earning Electro, I'm getting close. I have to do this obnoxious hindered on aim scientists. I have to avoid Electro's static shock on mission four. Defeat Epic Green Goblin. Defeat Epic Graviton. And do them all on normal hard and heroic. I have not done the last one on hard. Just because it says the combat level is uh, so high. If I was to look at the... I think it's only the last one on hard I haven't done. Yeah, Green Goblin. Because it says 20. And I don't have that many people close to 20 yet. So I haven't done it. But the game is still definitely a lot of fun. And if you have an Android device. And you would like to get this game. Before it comes out. Then send me a message here on YouTube. And I will try to go ahead and get you a link to it. It recently got an update. When we first saw the game, it was at version 1.0. Then it got an update at 101, and now it is at version 102. If you have an iOS device, sorry. I don't know of anybody that is currently shipping out the ICA. Is it ICA? IPA? IPA. Uh, I don't know of anybody who is shipping out the IPA files uh, for this yet. Of course you would need a jailbroken device to sideload those. So. But for Android, even if you are not rooted, there are definitely ways of getting the game. Being rooted helps, but you don't have to be rooted for it. So, well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video here on Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. Uh, since this is not a boss fight, I'm not going to pick somebody super high up in the levels. Pick somebody a little bit closer to the combat. So I'm bringing somebody's Hawkeye. 
And by the way, guys, no, you are not forced to use the friendly agent's hero when you get into combat. You can swap the guy out before he even takes an action. When it's his turn, just swap him out and pull in somebody from your back line. However, uh, anybody who is in your back line gains experience as if they were in your front. So it's not like I have to bounce uh, Hawkeye so that my back row people get the experience. The back row people don't lose anything. My Luke Cage is only in at the moment because he had to be in for the Rhino kill. Um, but he's been backlining for me a little bit. Just because him and Wasp are so high up in level, I, I have those guys just kind of chilling out for a little bit to give people a chance to catch up. But as you can see, the game's, game's pretty. If you play this on higher-end tablets, uh, it's it's really a joy to look at this game. Some of the lower-end ones where it may struggle to process the game, you can turn the graphics down a little bit to make it easier and stop like some of the stutter and the slowness on it and whatnot. But if you do have a higher-end Android device, and likely an iOS device if it does get a... Uh, Apple App Store release. Wow! Holy shit! That beam! My god! Uh, you know what? Like, fuck that dude's Hawkeye. Iron Fist is healing himself, and if that Hawkeye lives, I'm going to just swap him out for something that can do the living thing a little bit better. My god, that... Whoa! Mother of fucking god! That aim dude is pissed! And for some reason, it dropped the near-death Hawkeye back in instead of one of my own people. Yeah, you got 19 hit points. 19! Jesus, this dude is single-handedly wrecking my team over here. Like, I just fought Rhino and he didn't even do that amount of damage. I mean, he did if he did that, like, wind-up stampede move, but... Fuck, thank God this is only a three-wave fight over here. We're not going to be able to stand up for much more of that. But yeah, uh, actually Iron Fist and Black Panther are usually the two that have been coming in for me because they've been the lowest. Uh, he's going to have to heal himself again. So I had, I had put in Iron Fist heal move for him to pass the trial to get it to level 2. And I've decided to keep it. My god, I am pretty damn glad I've decided to keep it because... Of shit like this. Now this game is definitely easier to play on an Android emulator than Marvel Future Fight. Because Marvel Future Fight really does require the, the whole touch thing and everything. Since this is not time based and this can wait for you and you can take all the time you want to reach down there and grab a move and grab a target. This one is definitely much easier to play on a PC via an Android emulator like Bluestacks or Handy Andy or Nox. Uh, Contest of Champions and Future Fight are a lot harder to pull off without the touchscreen. God, man, these guys, oh boy. There's Hawkeye. So he's gained a little bit of health back being in the back row. But Vision is really strong in this game, by the way. If you get the chance to get Vision, get him. That punch does just gobs. Gobs of damage. Now, people do get less experience if they die. You see, my Luke Cage barely got a little. But my Thor, who was in the back line, was okay. Vision, yeah. He got a little because he died. Nice! I'm now level 21, so I get some gold, and my energy goes up. Should be up to 82 now, I guess. 
So the guys who do the From the Helicarrier stream, they keep their gold very, very low because they buy heroes as soon as, or they attempt to buy heroes as soon as the gold allows them. Uh, I tend to hoard it a little bit more. I probably won't spend again until back in the 290s. But, um, yeah, I just wish there was a more guaranteed way of getting a hero. You can do a chapter mastery for a hero. You can do PvP. But the, as you can see, the spinners, when you get the yellow ones in there, no guarantee you get a hero. No guarantee you even get a good move. You get a move that you have already. Uh, I never spend... Oh, so that's how they're going to do it. So it looks like at the end of the Heimdall season... Uh, I can pop possibly spend on a power cell and get Angela. Maybe that's how they're going to do it. That means from day one, people are going to be too hero short when this comes out in the States. But, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video here on Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. And as always, give me a follow here on YouTube, Twitter, or Twitch to find out when I'm streaming or doing videos. Peace out, everybody.